Uh, my name is Iona Prescott and I'm an administrator for Icon Creative Tonga, a youth development organisation. I was announced as the first winner from Tonga to have, to have ever applied for the Queen's Young Leaders. My career path to this work that I'm doing now started off with a dance workshop that motivated me to take um, to be more interested in what was happening behind the scene, what was driving the organisation, why they were doing the things they were doing. So with that I started volunteering for the organisation and there um, I was then open to different workshops that was provided by different NGOs and um, by different people that came through and did training and so from then on I just kind of got the skills off from experience and just seeing how people run things and, and all of that so yeah. Um, growing up in a Tongan environment it's, it's always like no girls need to stay home and do washing and, and all of that and which is quite useful and which is quite like, you know, useful tools for girls. But at the same time, I'm quite blessed to have parents who are very open for me to even do work outside of just washing or, you know, cooking and all of that, but getting more involved with community wise. I'm actually quite lucky to have a family who's very supportive and it's not just my my parents but also my grandparents who is very supportive always you know um, taking time out to even just check up on how I am and not not for the work or whatever but personally um, to get that support as a young girl um, will take it has taken me this far and without a doubt will take me a very long way The most thing that I that I absolutely love about the work that I do is um, is the people. Um, I get to work with many young people. I also run dance classes, which I you know I do with the younger kids who are just five to to ten, and you know um, that's that's what I absolutely love because some of the youth that we get are very are at risk youth. Some of them are on the streets begging for money, some of them are, you know, just not motivated at all. Um, and to see them change over time in that time phrase that we work with, and not like a massive change, but you see their mentality changing bit by bit. Um, I guess for me that's the most rewarding thing to even see them want to change. And what you're doing is not just for yourself, but it's for the betterment of the whole community, the whole country, and yeah, for themselves especially. In our leadership team, there's only two girls, and majority are all boys. Um, there is conflicts with different point of views and, and all of that, but um, seeing as how the boys also kind of not see us as oh they're just girls they don't know what they're doing they they we we know better you know but to even see them kind of accept our point of view and and come to a place where what can we agree on what can we do to move forward from here it's not about what i want or what you want but it's about what can be better for the kids that we're working with the vision of this organization so yeah With the majority of the girls that we do get, uh, a, a lot of which the reason why they ca they can't make it or they couldn't make it because you know their families don't support this type of dancing or this type of creative arts that we do, um, and and you know we understand because there's culture and there's tradition, but um, I guess for us it's even seeing the heart behind. Um, why we do the things we do and it's not just for the sake of dancing and just for the sake of doing hip-hop on stage but it's so much more than just a performance um, for us it's dealing with the mentality of people and for girls to see that and to fight for it um, man they it's because they see a, a better future for the for the girls here in Tonga and you're not weak to do anything you can do whatever you you want to do if you set your mind and your heart to it and you can get there and there is people out there who supports what you do. Mm -hmm.